parents have been asking me some colorful questions about whether or not their child might be colorblind. So let me see if I can express some views on this particular topic. Colorblindness does not mean that your child is blind. It just means that they have a deficiency in recognizing maybe shades of color or maybe colors entirely due to a problem in the back of the eye, what we call the retina, with certain cells that allow you to see color. Now about 8% of boys and about only 1% of girls are colorblind. It can be a problem at birth and it gets worse as you get older. So how do you know if your child is colorblind? Well, usually you don't during infancy or toddlerhood, but as they get close to entering preschool or kindergarten and start to want to learn their primary colors, well, if they're not learning them easily, that could be a problem. If they're coloring in kindergarten, the teacher points out they're using the wrong color crayon to color something that you would expect to be a particular color, that may also be a clue, such as coloring a red tomato brown. That being said, if you think your child is colorblind, have your physician check your child out. He or she will give your child a colorblind test where they look at numbers in circles. If they can see the number in circles in a different circle of color, well, that's fine. But if they can't see the number, well, that may mean that they have colorblindness or some form of partial colorblindness. So what happens if you diagnose colorblindness? Make sure your child's teachers know this so they can use words or symbols to help your child cue up the recognition that different things are made up of different colors. In addition, it's important to know that colorblindness may be with your child for the rest of their life, but that doesn't mean you have to hurt their self-esteem or self-confidence. People who are colorblind do very well in school and go on to have very successful careers so that hopefully tips like this will allow you to see clearly when it comes to knowing a little bit more about what to do if you think your child is colorblind. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from Vermont Children's Hospital of Fletcher Allen reminding you to always be first with your kids.